What's up y'all, it's Timmy. We're up here in Gerwood, Alaska, and we're gonna fix a really dangerous problem on the truck house right now. So let's get to it. As a lot of you guys know, when I did the flatbed on the truck, I removed the main truck bed and turned it into a truck bed trailer. So I chopped a Ford F-350 in half, put my old bed on it, and now I've got a truck bed trailer, which is sweet. One of the coolest parts about this trailer is it has the original diesel tanks down here. You can see them right there. So I can carry 40 gallons of fuel in my trailer, which is sweet. Double tanks. And that gives me a 40 gallon fuel reservoir, which goes into my diamond plate box. And I pump it from inside this diamond plate box into my snow machines. That way when I'm out camping in the truck house, I don't have to carry a whole bunch of five gallon gas cans around. I've got two large fuel tanks where I can safely pump the gas into the snow machines. Now where things are dangerous is there's a problem. I use this cheap blue plastic hose, which you can see right there. And it's been leaking and spraying gasoline all inside this diamond plate box, which is pretty sketchy. So now I bought a nice fancy new gas nozzle and some nice quality gasoline rubber hose and a gauge reader so I know how much gas I'm actually pumping. So we're gonna get that installed today. So let's get to it. So here's what it looks like in a nutshell. I've got a really cheap plastic nozzle right here and I've got basically hose clamps clamping this cheap plastic tubing onto the nozzle. That hose runs down to the pump right here. And same thing, it's clamped on right here. The loose connection right there no matter how much I crank down on the hose clamp, it won't tighten this hose up. So it's spraying gasoline all over the place inside of here, which is dangerous and sketchy. So this should resolve that. We're going to get rid of this whole system and we're going to do a really nice new system, which everything is threaded. So this threaded pipe right here will thread into the pumps. So that's nice and solid and locked in. We're going to use some thread sealant to lock that in as well. Then we're gonna connect the other end of the hose to this really nice new gas nozzle and thread seal that. And then we're also going to put this digital meter in between it so you can actually see how much fuel is being pumped. So that'll be pretty sweet. So that's what's going on. Let's get to it. You know, it's really hard. To, it's always difficult to try to film with one hand. Do everything with one hand. First thing we're gonna do is get the wrong bit. <laughs> Off to a good start. Need a flathead. There we go. Once again, trying to do all this with one hand. Film with the other hand. First thing we're gonna do is get this hose clamp loosened up and pull the old hose off. It should come right off. a little bit of gas that comes out, probably not a lot. All right, and she's loose. So here is the old hose and nozzle assembly. You can tell it's cheap. Let's put the good stuff in now. So we're going to put this meter in between everything. So let's get that out of the casing. Real quick, I want to give a shout out to Kyle at Old Deep State Cutlery. He makes these knives, hand makes everything, cheese and everything, and they're freaking sweet. So you guys check them out. Deep State Cutlery, pretty legit. Yeah, I just keep this in the truck all the time and use it all the time for crap like this. Can't wait to go caribou hunting with this beast. All right, so here is the fuel meter. So basically we're going to mount this fuel meter right here to the base of my nozzle and then mount the hose to the other end of the fuel meter and that will display how much fuel I'm using because otherwise I have no idea. It's just total gas out of the 40 gallons. All right, so we're gonna take this pipe sealant and go ahead and get everything all set up here. Well, it's not frozen solid. You can put it on down to freaking whatever, negative uh, 55 degrees it says, so should be all right. I'm going to thread this up. Perfect. Love it. Off to a good start. 
freaking Butterfingers over here. All right, skis. Now we're gonna go ahead and thread this in. And use our wrench. Crank her down. <clears throat> Way better than a hose clamp, huh? And now let's get some pipe sealant on the other end of the meter. And we're gonna attach the nozzle to this end. Obviously, you want to try to not get this all down into the pipe itself, like I'm doing. I'm going to get that seal on, so we're going to thread this onto the nozzle. Like so. Ha. Get that seal on me already. Oh! Oh! Ho, 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 ho. There it is in the jacket. Nice. There you have it. So there's our new nozzle. Let's maybe clean up some of that sealant before we make any more of a mess than I already have. Okay, there we go. That's how it works. And you can see, zero gallons. And you just hold it down and it resets and all that good stuff. So. so now that the nozzle and the reader are attached, now we're going to attach the hose to the pump in there. So let's get some thread sealant on this and get that screwed in. Now I'll try to spin this bad boy in here. Hopefully it fits. Probably will barely make the bend. Get in there. Right. You can tell this connection is way more robust than just a freaking hard plastic hose and a hose clamp. It actually threads in to everything. Now everything is looking pretty good down there. So last step is to connect this end to the hose to that nozzle. So let's do that. Last step. Just like that, we're in business. Got our whole hose assembly and nozzle hooked up and the reader going in there like it should. And uh, I guess we'll test it out now, see how it works. up here negative positive and this is the part where if I turn this pump on it's either gonna spray gasoline everywhere or it's gonna work so let's see which will it be Anyhow, guys, there you have it. There is the new and improved fuel and station. Just tested it out, no leaks anywhere, good to go. So, problem solved. See you on the next one.